have another riddle for you. And if you answered my previous one and you emailed me, I will be getting back to the people that got it right shortly within this week. It was a lot of people, but it was not enough. So I created another one from the previous riddle and the results, the data that I was able to put together based on the answers that you guys emailed me. I was able to create four groups and I was able to divide these four groups pretty evenly, each of them containing approximately the same amount of people from four different subcategories. Well, categories. And these categories are people that got the riddle right and just sent me their answer without any explanation for how they did it. They got their own group. There's a group for people that got the riddle correct, but their method of reasoning was so completely unexpected to me, so novel and, I don't know, just refreshing. They got their own group. Then there was people that got it exactly the way I created it, basically. They got their own group. And then there's people that did not get the answer correct necessarily, or fully correct. But there's something about them. There's something about the way their mind works, based on what I could see from their answer email. Then I put them into their own group as well. Now these four groups are somewhat equally distributed into four groups. And then those four groups will each experience the album rollout in a different way and hopefully give me feedback on it. And then that feedback I will use to be able to see what still needs adjusting, what needs some course correcting, and, 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 and. Now for today's riddle, <laughs> don't worry. I will give you a closer look at the riddle. It is the words that are currently written on my mirror. This morning, I set out with a list of needed supplies and about 60 American dollars if I were to convert it. And I got all the things that I didn't have already because everything you see in this frame is a hint, a clue. It is intentional. Even my underwear is intentional, but you cannot see it thanks to this cool belt. The only thing on here in this frame currently that is more aesthetic than it is related is Johnny and Watson. And the only reason they are here is because they live here. I'm not gonna tell them to move. And also, now I've got to tell you their names, so. For this riddle, I am going to be putting the same email address on the screen right now and in the pinned comment and in the description of this video. I want you to email me at that email address with your response to the riddle and make sure in the tagline you put another riddle. That's very important, more important than you think. For this riddle, there is an answer, a solid answer, and that is what I'm looking for. The riddle that is written behind me on the mirror, these are lyrics to a song that I wrote. That was so important for me to include that when I was faced with the problem that these lyrics are awfully ambiguous and they do not get the message across completely being as ambiguous as they are, I decided to create an entire symbol alphabet so that I can tell you exactly what it is about without just saying it in plain English words and English alphabet because that would be too on the nose or ostentatious or whatever the appropriate word is if it's not one of those two. So what I want from you, if you answer this riddle, is to give me the answer to the riddle. You are also more than welcome to share your reasoning. I would love to honestly get a peek behind the curtain and see how you did it, especially if you think it was particularly interesting, then I am very interested. 
the people that either get this riddle correct or who, again, come up with some really um, interesting, my apologies for the dogs, that is not intentional. Anybody who gets the answer correct or comes up with uh, an answer that is interesting and different will be added to a different list and I will be in contact with you in the very near future. And what I will offer you, you of course have full right at any point in time to be like, mm, no, actually I'm done and just never respond to me again. Again, you don't even owe me an explanation. This is, how do I say it? You are not, you are not trapping yourself into anything by engaging with this. You can leave at any point in time. Before I give you a better look at the actual words of the riddle and also the stage that I have set, I would like to tell you that you are allowed to use AI, of course. Because if I sit here and I tell you, you're not allowed to use AI, how would I know? How would I know? That's dumb. <laughs> and also, I don't think AI is bad. All I ask is that if you do decide to use AI, consider perhaps following my next suggestion. My suggestion is you copy the text of the riddle. You give it to your AI of choice. Along with the riddle, instead of just asking it straight out for an answer, what is the answer to the riddle? Instead, copy the riddle and then give your AI of choice this list of reasoning methods and feel free to add any that I maybe didn't get. What I've got here, I'll put it on the screen as well, is deductive reasoning, inductive reasoning, abductive reasoning, analogy-based reasoning, lateral thinking, systems thinking, my personal favourite way of thinking, because really they have built a world that is based on systems, haven't they? First principles, game theory, another fun one, pattern recognition, we all do that so naturally anyways, psychological profiling, another one we do quite naturally, reverse engineering, goes hand in hand with system thinking, and red teaming, same same. So <laughs> I'll put this list also in the description and the pinned comments. Copy it. After you have copied this list, tell your chosen AI to try solving this riddle using each method listed above and show your reasoning. Then compare the different answers that it gives. What do the methods agree on? What do they miss? What assumptions? My apologies, that is also not intentional, it's not part of the riddle, but what assumptions arise, where do the methods disagree, where do they agree, those kinds of things. This allows your brain to wake up a bit more. And then, whether you continue with the AI or try to go it solo from then on, you are in a much better position to crack it. Because at the end of the day, that is the real thing, right? Not just getting the answer, not just solving it, but seeing how it is solved. <laughs> Instead of explaining it with too many words, let me just demonstrate. Okay, so we are using we are using Gemini 2.5 Pro logged into my account, but on a clean conversation thread. If that means anything or change anything for you. Hi Jem, if I were to give you a riddle and then give you a list containing the following words, deductive reasoning, inductive reasoning, abductive reasoning, and knowledge-based thinking, lateral thinking, systems thinking, first principles, game theory, pattern recognition, psychological profiling, reverse engineering, and red teaming. And then I were to ask you 
to attempt to solve the riddle given to you by using each of the methods listed above and giving me your reasoning, what would I as the user be doing and what benefit would I get from this interaction beyond just the answer of the riddle? Same game. I'm gonna put you down, my arms are getting out you. <laughs> In that scenario, we would be conducting a structured analysis of an AI's cognitive flexibility and problem solving capabilities. The answer to the riddle would be secondary to your main goal. Here's a breakdown of what you'd be doing and the benefits you'd gain. What you would be doing, auditing my thinking process. You would be moving beyond a simple Q&A and acting as a prompter, an educator, and an auditor. By providing a single problem, the riddle, and a fixed set of analytical tools, the list of methods, you would be creating a controlled experiment to test for true understanding versus rote memorization. You'd be checking if I can actually apply abstract reasoning concepts rather than just define them. Evaluate my cognitive flexibility. You would force me to shift perspectives and approach the same problem from multiple distinct angles, revealing the depth and... Okay. You get the idea. So now I will include for you the actual visual components of the riddle, and you can email me your answer. And this is a lot of fun, guys. I'm really enjoying this so much. Even just standalone, like, <laughs> regardless of what it's doing for the album, what it's doing for the album is amazing. Thank you so much. This is invaluable to me. But even just standalone, this is fun. I'm having fun, guys. <laughs> Thank you for engaging. I really appreciate it. See ya.